let me know if you like this type of uh, recording where I talk my voice one of my one of the youtubers that watches my videos they said that um, it would be nice to hear my voice the snow is pretty hard so uh, so we got down to the river and as you can see the snow is going away if you look up this way you'll see a I guess you could call it a mini glacier or see that strip of snow right there the weather is quite lovely but I can tell you right now that it's going to be a drought in the summertime because there's not a lot of snow. River down here, the one that, the same one that we went to, a little bit up above in that direction. And as you can, can see, it's just going downstream down the down the canyon. There's this huge tree that is apparently not alive anymore but it's still standing the bark is falling off all right these aren't the shoes that I usually wear um, I usually wear my Columbia shoes these are Merrill shoes which are very comfortable they're probably the most comfortable shoes that I have but the traction is not as good as the Columbia shoes, the Columbia hiking shoes that I have. So as you can see, there's the mountainside. There's the river. All right, let's keep going. Here's another great view. Actually, this view is really nice. I'll just point it up in that direction. You can see the, the snow up on top of the mountain. And then if we look down here, we can see the river. I'm not quite sure myself. I haven't been on this trail before, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. Water so clear, but this is really interesting. Let's go over here. So this wheel turns around, and then it goes in there. Maybe, you know what? I think that. So the river flows down this way, keeps going down that way, downstream. But the water that falls in here is the water that is treated for drinking water. Maybe that's, that's my best guess. If you know better than me, then definitely let me know in the comments. But that's, that's what I, I think I, I think that's what it is. That's, this is the water that they, that they use for drinking water but obviously there's a facility more down more down the canyon in this direction that that cl cleans the water and here's a little uh, measurement of how high the water is so yeah there's one right here and there's another one over there. Looks like it starts at 1 and goes to 11. If it's at 11 then it's quite a downpour and that means that we had a really good uh, winter, winter time. A lot of snowpack 
but obviously this time around it's it, it's it's very low it's it's below one so obviously it it has to has to amount to something but so look at this look at this so this pipeline right here is a water pipeline that water that we saw a little bit up up above just you know just a few moments ago uh, the water is going in this in this in this pipeline here and it keeps going down in that direction pass over this way go on the other side of this pipe here Interesting. This interesting bridge here. <laughs> mm. Towards a huge boulder here. Piece of granite. Two pieces of granite. That once rolled off the mountain here many ages ago. I don't know when. <laughs> it's probably been here forever. Well, not forever, but. Uh, one thing you want to, one thing that's interesting is Little Cottonwood and Big Cottonwood Canyon. There used to be huge glaciers in both of them. And so these huge granite, pieces of granite that you see, and you're wondering, you know, how, how did that piece, huge piece of granite get there in the first place? Well, nobody really knows how it got there, but... At least nobody has lived that long to see it deposit there from somewhere else. If I might say that uh, when when uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon still had glaciers in it, that that piece of granite was on top of a glacier, and as the as the as the glacier slowly melted away, and 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 went 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 down, it, it the granite was probably on top of the hill, on top of this mountain here. And uh, as the glacier went down the mountain, it 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 was so strong that it it carried the boulder with it. And it brought brought it down to its current position. And once the glacier melted away, then the boulder just uh, ended up on solid ground, exactly where you see it now. So that's kind of my my idea or my thoughts of how I got there. I can tell you right now that my passion is to hike and I love the great outdoors ever since I was young my dad was a big outdoor enthusiast he used to mountain bike he was a skier he hiked he camped and now springtime's coming along I'll be going on hiking trails that are that are that were not accessible during the winter time and are only accessible during springtime and summertime, which in return will be will be able to have beautiful hikes up in the mountains with flowers, the trees blooming. Trees will be all covered with leaves. So we're back at the bridge again. Here's the lake or <laughs> what am I saying lake it's a river well like I said this is the first day of spring March 20th and I'm gonna 
sign off right now and I hope you had a great time. And uh, I hope you uh, like the hike and I, I hope that you, you subscribe and uh, that you'll be able to watch my other videos. And it's an amazing hike and I'm glad that you were able to come with me. Signing off. Have a good have a good first day of first day of spring. Bye bye.